A new life in a cold case tonight. Police in Ledyard spent the day searching for clues in a murder that dates back to 2006. They were searching a field along Shoeville Road where Anthony Hamlin's body was found. News ace Tina Detail was there and spoke to Hamlin's mother. She has more on these new developments. It's been eight years since Anthony Hamlin's body was found in this field, and now it's the Cold Case Task Force, which is continuing this investigation. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I want him home. I know, I know. <laughs> Emotions take over as the family of Anthony Hamlin arrive at the Ledger Field, where investigators from the FBI, along with state and local police, search for clues in the death of the 40-year-old Groton man, found here in January 2006. This is just the second time his mother, Darlene Hamlin, has been strong enough to face this field. I tried to get stronger over the years, but it, it continues to be hard. The father of five was last seen at New London's Union Station and the nearby Subway restaurant. That was the night of January 27, 2006. The next morning, his battered, naked body was found face down in this field. Teresa DeLazinski was going out for coffee when she and other neighbors discovered him. It's a very unsettling thing to see. Hamlin's family prefers to remember the man who could bring them all together and whose loss now has torn them apart. He always had this big, wide smile, and that's what I miss m so much about Anthony, is that smile. The cold case task force using leaf blowers and other equipment to cut through eight years of growth in search of any piece of evidence which could help solve this case. I just pray to God that they find some kind of evidence, DNA, uh, personal property, something, either from my son or from the individuals that did this. Along with the other equipment, police are also using a metal detector in this search. Again, they want the public's help, so if you have any information, give them a call. In Ledger, Tina Detell, News 8.